Let's talk about your forecast here because they're keeping an eye on a couple of things as we go throughout the day and that trend will continue for us. But the first thing that we're going to be watching out for is the cool morning start. It's 45 degrees currently at the airport right now with mostly clear skies and dry air that's in place. And that's something that's going to play a part in the forecast as we go throughout the day. Look at some of these numbers for our friends off to, towards the east Blue Ridge at 38 degrees. 33 degrees, so flirting with that freezing mark in Murphy, 39 degrees in Cleveland. Good morning in Athens at 39, 39 in Dayton, and 38 degrees currently in Fort Payne, 45 in Chattanooga, Altamont at 44 degrees, and 40 degrees currently in Calhoun. As we go throughout the rest of your Monday, yes, it's going to be a cool start. We're in the 40s in the city. Outlying areas, though, again, likely in the 30s briefly. So make sure you grab the hoodies and sweatshirts. But as we go throughout the day, we're in the mid to upper 60s by the afternoon hours. And by late afternoon, we're in the mid 70s for high. So it's going to be warm, a little on the breezy side. And that's something that, of course, you're going to want to be aware of. Where's the breeze coming from? Well, we've got high pressure to our south. We've got an area of low pressure to the north. Anytime you get sandwiched in between these, that leads to kind of like the wind tunnel effect and that funnels the winds in and we're going to be looking at that happening and as high pressure slides to the east we get that southwesterly flow and that's what brings in the warmer temperatures that you see developing off to our west. So let's talk about the winds right now because they're pretty much calm across the area, uh, gusting a little bit at about three to five miles per hour, but we're going to see these picking up as we go throughout the morning. So notice as we get towards mid morning, we'll start to see first off towards the north and west winds gusting up to about 15 miles per hour. But then notice by late this afternoon, we start to see those winds gusting out of the south and west anywhere between 20 to 25 miles per hour. So that brings in the warmer temperatures across the area but it also leads to the potential of a higher fire danger this afternoon. We're going to have that dry air in place. It's going to be on the breezy side, so all the brush and the ground fuels that we have out there will dry out even more than where they are now. We know it's been fairly dry around here, so anything, any fires that get sparked out there could easily spread during this type of weather conditions across the area. So we want you to just be aware of that as we go throughout the rest of this afternoon and evening. Use extreme caution, and of course, if you need to have a permit, check for that today specifically. All right, let's talk about what's been causing our next uh, our, our temperature trends here because below average temperatures, thanks to this Great Lakes upper level low spinning, pulling down those below average temperatures, but it begins to flatten out as to go throughout the next couple of days. So that gives us a zonal flow in the weather world. That's a west to east flow. That means fairly quiet weather, but also warmer weather. And that's what we're going to be experiencing. And then as we get the winds coming in out of the south and west, that's going to lead to even warmer weather for the middle and latter half of the week. So we're going to be talking about temperatures going from below average this weekend to well above average as we go throughout this week. But yes, you see a blue line. That's a cold front. That's going to be our next system moving through by the end of the week. And by this weekend, we get another one of those big Great Lakes upper low spinning, and that's going to bring back down the below average temperatures once again. All right, so let's break it all down for you with the temperature trend map. 75 for us uh, as we go into this afternoon. We'll be in the 80s over the next couple of days, and then that cold front moves through, and then we're back below average again just in time for the weekend. Let's talk about the potential of rainfall with that next system. So we're going to jump ahead on Futurecast to uh, Thursday morning, and you'll be able to see we've got two streams of moisture. We've got the upper level stream here. This is the uh, northern branch and then we have the southern branch. Now if these were to come together completely, we'd have a very large storm system on our hands, but it's going to stay kind of separate. So we'll get the Gulf flow coming in, bringing us a chance of rain and then some rain with the cold front. But overall, they'll come together to at least give us a decent chance of some rain moving into the area. How much? Uh, looking like pretty decent totals, a quarter to a half an inch across the area with a half an inch to three quarters of an inch just to our south. We'll monitor the trends on that. Here's your storm alert seven day forecast. Sunny and warm 75 today. We're at about 80 degrees on your Tuesday mid 80s by the middle and latter half of the week. Guys, we desperately need the rain. Good chance of that for Friday and Saturday cooler next weekend. But be aware of that half fire danger today.